Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five young adult series that adult readers would really enjoy. But before we go ahead and get on into the books, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new content. I post new bookish videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down in the description box below for links to all of my social medias, my Buddy Read Discord, and my Patreon, where you can be entered into winning book giveaways from me. The first series is The Partial Sequence by Dan Wells. This is a young adult post-apocalyptic sci-fi series that has stuck with me for several years and I actually really enjoyed it. It follows a world that has been decimated by this war with the partials, and the partials are these human-type beings that were created in our world. They are engineered organic beings, and they have decimated the human population by bioengineering a virus to attack and kill humans. The only remaining humans live on Long Island, New York, and we follow a protagonist named Kira who is hellbent on finding out the truth about this virus and finding a way to save the human population from complete annihilation. The reason I would recommend this series for adults is because I feel like it follows several complex themes, the first being how humanity would survive or function if civilization completely collapsed and just how we would have to rely on each other. So it's just a commentary on something hypothetical that could happen. It also brings up the idea of what makes one human. And then it brings a lot of science questions and ethical questions regarding biological warfare. So I really enjoyed this series. I felt like the third book was a little bit weak. The second one was my favorite of the series. But if you're into sci-fi and that sounds like something you would read in an adult book, then I highly recommend The Partial Sequence. And then we have This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. This is another young adult sci-fi that is along the same vein as the partial sequence. So if you like post-apocalyptic stories where humans are having to survive, then this would also speak to you. It has a very similar premise. In this world, once again, humanity has been decimated by this genetically engineered virus. And we follow a main character named Kat, who is a gene hacker. So in this world, humans are able to manipulate their genes and they can, this can manifest as like, you know, almost like superhuman abilities, but not quite just bio-enhanced abilities, I guess. So we follow our main character, whose father is the one who is blamed for unleashing this virus on mankind. And she kind of goes on a mission to find out the truth and and also to help save mankind. The reason that I would recommend this book is because it really explores some interesting futuristic sci-fi ideas, uh, some of it being, you know, the manipulation of the human genetics, which is something that we're currently dabbling in and what that might look like in the future. But then there is some other sci-fi elements that are, I can't really explain because it would really, really spoil the book, but in books two and three, we get introduced to a new scientific concept that is really, really unique and out there. And the author really does tie it into something that could actually happen and ground it in what we know in science today and it kind of just is interesting and it makes you think so if you're someone that reads sci-fi and speculative fiction because it makes you think and introduces ideas that could be plausible in the future then this is a book that would appeal to you Next, we have the Strange the Dreamer duology by Lainey Taylor, and this is a YA fantasy, and there's a couple reasons why I say this book would appeal to older readers. The first one is the actual writing style itself. So Lainey Taylor is known for having really purpley, flowery prose, which I feel like might be harder for younger readers to get into. So just her writing style in general, I feel like is a little bit more advanced. But in this book, we're following a character named Laszlo Strange, and for his whole life, he has been obsessed with this city known as Weep, and no one knows if Weep actually exists, but Laszlo truly believes the city existed and he spends his life studying it, and then one day an entourage shows up and tries to recruit Laszlo to come to Weep because he's been studying Weep and he knows all about it and they need his knowledge, so it just confirms that the city actually does exist. And when he gets there, he gets thrown into this fantastical world of gods and dreams and learning more about him as a person and his past and where he actually came from and what he actually is. So the story actually does have a lot of layers to it. 
In addition to the writing style being more advanced, I feel like this book does explore more mature themes. Um, so it does deal with like assault and trauma and kind of what trauma can do to a person and how, um, you know, people deal with it in different ways. And sometimes it's not always a good way. And then we have like an antagonist that is this little child who is so evil, it's downright creepy. So I feel like that could be unsettling for some readers. But just those themes of how people who've gone through violence and assault process that and live with it, I think is a more complex idea and would appeal to older readers. Next, we have the Three Dark Crowns Quartet by Kendar Blake, and this is another YA fantasy, and it is about three sisters, and every couple years, these three triplets are born to a queen, and they essentially have to fight each other for the throne. So we're following each sister, and each sister is supposed to have a magical ability that they are born with, and two of the sisters do, but one was born without an ability. So first off right there, I feel like the idea of three sisters literally killing each other in order to secure the crown is a fairly dark concept. The writing style of this book is not really that complex, but it just, it's very dark. <laughs> like I feel like it matches the black covers and the, the three dark crowns title. Like it's a very dark story. And we also deal with some magics that are kind of creepy. So the first one is poison. So one of the sisters has a talent for poisoning, but in order to become immune to these different poisons, she actually is poisoned herself. So we follow this character as she is constantly poisoning herself and just what it does to her body is just really disturbing. I found it creepy as heck. And there are just some scenes where our main character is involved in this blood magic and just it's a little bit unsettling. So I feel like this book, this series just has some dark undertones um, that would be more suited to an older audience. And lastly, we have the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. First off, Brandon Sanderson really knows how to develop a world in an intricate manner. And he is known for his magic systems. He's known for his worlds. And the Skyward world is no exception. So I feel like some YA books, especially fantasy, they just don't flush out the world as much as adult books do. But that's not the case in Skyward. This is very, very well flushed out. And we follow a group of characters that are fighter pilots and they're fighting against these aliens. And the mechanics of their dogfighting is very, very detailed, and I feel like that could get lost on some younger readers or not interest some younger readers. And even though we are following a teenage girl, I feel like her goals are to become the best fighter pilot she can, to help save her planet, to clear her father's besperched name, and I feel like those are all goals that older teens could relate to and young adults could relate to. So I feel like Skyward, in addition to being like a super fun, super engaging, literal fighting aliens type book has some ideas and some concepts that people of an older like teenage early 20s age could really really relate to. All right you guys those are five young adult book series that I think older readers would really enjoy. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them or if you have any other recommendations for young adult series that would appeal to older audiences and I will see y'all in another video soon. Goodbye! Thank you.